Hey, I'm Nate, and I'm gonna give you a hands-on demo of our brand new Hellscape Magma Rivers. We're gonna take a look at how these bubbling flows of lava work together and maybe give you some cool tricks and ideas. Let's go take a look. So the Magma Rivers are six basic pieces. We've got straight, everything's uh, four inch by four inch footprint. These will have an anchor magnet on the bottom side, usually under somewhere under the opaque area. So there'll probably be an anchor magnet on here. So it'll stick to our terrain trays. They're all made of translucent dwarvenite. So light will shine through and they'll look really nice when illuminated. Uh, so our straight, pretty simple straight. It's got a nice little raised area. So you can go, whoa, your minis can go explore over there. Uh, we have our curve, which is a 90 degree curve, nice gentle curve. It's got this stepping stone on there. Let's give them some way to get across the river. Uh, we have the diagonal, which also serves like the, uh, like the curve, uh, but it's a different shape. Uh, you can also use it for building diagonals. We'll get to that in a sec. Uh, we have this T intersection, put it over here. Uh, which has one way in here and one way in there. So it's a little three-way bump, bump, bump. We have this one where it flows right out through a cave wall, which I think is super cool. So it could be an entrance or an exit, your choice. It also has a little broken, super dangerous stepping stone there, because who doesn't like an element of danger? And then this big, huge waterfall, I guess it's a lava fall, as it were, a lava fall. Man, did I even call it? We might need to change the name. Uh, this should be a, a magma lava fall, because there's no water here. It's all evaporated. Uh, just flowing down all over the stones. And best of all, this thing has uh, has flickering fire LEDs inside to give it extra life, plus a really cool demon skeleton that Nina put on the back there. Look at that thing. All right, so these are the these are six basic pieces. So to build, oh, and look how big this thing is next to a mini. It's like it's massive. That is that is that is a magma fall and a half. Woo! All right, so you just basically slide the things together and they build themselves, right? So you can. Boom. Straight river. Go. You can go super straight if you want. Bend in it. Uh, we have only one straight and two different types of corners because uh, I think I want my magma rivers to bend a lot. Like I don't want things to go super straight because it doesn't feel as organic. Um, so we have give you two corner options and only one straight. And this was a super limited set, right? We wanted to just do the minimum amount of pieces possible to give you a lot of variety. Uh, so we may do an expansion down the line if we like it. Um, the easiest way, if you want to bring it into or out of a uh, room, you can use either this or your magma fall and the like. I mean, it's pretty simple as just putting them together end to end to end to end. All right. So then if you want to get a little, uh, little trickier, you can start building bigger areas of magma, right? So you can, so these T intersections are super useful. You could, you know, the baseline you could just do a, like, oh, let's have this thing break out and split. So maybe there's a, uh, an exit over there and a waterfall over here and a exit over there. Mm -hmm. Or maybe we want two waterfalls coming together. Let's go this way. I mean, you can do something crazy, right? Two waterfalls that flow back in around themselves. Maybe this is, maybe this is, uh, you know, this is the kind of thing you'd find in the abyss, right? It doesn't really make any sense, but you could build it if you want. Or maybe these things are flowing out. Boom over here. And then this is a place you could put something, like a cool showpiece, like the pedestal of pain nestled in between there. Often if you're gonna build with these, if you wanna build these waterfalls in line, you put the rising walls up against them because they rise up and uh, help, help it flow with a bunch of regular wall pieces. So, oop, you want to do something like that. So if you want to do bigger areas of lava, I would take a bunch of these T intersections and we can start using these to make a little lava pool. So let's say we have it coming out from here to here. So you can do that, make a little lava pool. What I like to do a lot of times for this sort of central bit is put something like a pointy slag in there or this 
cool tri spire. Or you could do something subtle like the little magma jumpy stone. Uh, and that looks like it's the genesis of another little magma spout. And then, of course, it gives you a place to put some minis that won't maybe instantly die. They have a chance, a vague chance of survival. They can do some crazy jumping shenanigans. Um, so this is, this is just taking a T-intersection and a couple of curves. Then you could extend it out and have it keep running through. Maybe it goes out to the, keeps going out the room or the like. If you've got more T's, you can build it out even bigger. Just like that. Maybe do a thing like this. Do a thing like that. Let's go here. Or if you want, like let's say you've got, so these things can feel a little repetitive, these curves, if you've got um, two of them too close together because of these, uh, these stones in there. So then you just, you could dress that up with tri spire. Let's put it over here. Something, put a magma flow in that, put a magma flow in this, and break it up like that. Something to keep it feeling organic, even though it's sort of repeating the same tiles a little bit. The other thing you could do is you can use this piece so normally I'd use this sort of on the edge of my build and it goes out. You could have this connect from one room to another. So let's say we had a, uh, we had a room over here. All right, we're doing a thing like this. If we wanted, we could build out into this next room. Do a thing like that. All right, so you could use this to connect to uh, two different rooms. Something like uh, something like this. I'd put a lava drip corner fill in there, uh, and then maybe this is a terrible thing, right? Where the, the PCs have to find a way to get through this tiny little, look at that tiny little opening, right? Somehow between the two rooms and the like. You can also can use this to wheel some of our transition pieces. So let's look at these transition pieces. So we've got three transition pieces here. Uh, we've got, this is the Magma River transition, which we use to go down to a terrain tray or phantasmal filter. Uh, this is the Magma to Lava River transition. This transitions from these new la Magma Rivers to our old Lava River tiles. And this is Lava Rivers uh, transitioning down to a terrain tray or phantasmal filter. Let's say we had a phantasmal filter down here. Uh, we could throw this transition piece down, drop a river going on into it. Back, let's go under. Let's go even further. Tuck that thing under there. And then we can use some banks pieces like this to start dressing up banks. We can create a negative space build. So we can flow from these down to Phantasmal filter, we could put a terrain tray down here, you could print something out and put it down there, but you could start doing a cool negative space build. Our next transition piece uh, is the Lava Rivers transition piece. So this is, if you want to transition from our old Lava Rivers down to a Phantasmal filter or a terrain tray, you use this thing. Uh, it's designed so that you can put our, our banks pieces right up against it. Like, yeah, you could also, if you wanted, you could theoretically put them up against it like that. It has this little corner that comes up that might bother some of you who are persnickety, but you could just put a, uh, put a stalactite on it if you have to. So you build something out with the, the banks or whatnot. So like that if you wanted, boom. Uh, and then build this in with floors and whatnot. Our third transition piece is the magma rivers to lava rivers transition piece. And so this lets you go from the old lava rivers thanks to the new magma rivers. So it lets you build some, uh, if you want to do some two by two builds with the old rivers and the like, you can, something like that. The other neat thing you can do with this is, let's say, you're building a uh, you're building a river here, and this one's going this way, and you want to terminate this river right here. You can use this piece, this transition piece, and two of these to make a little dead end in your uh, in your river build. If 
you don't love how the old pieces and the new pieces sit together, you can always dress it up with, you know, throw a tri-spire on there, some stalagmite, so camouflage those, and then boom, that thing ends. Nice. The final neat thing you can do, if you take this transition and this transition piece, you can chain these together uh, to get you from these new pieces. You can use it without any of the, uh, without any of our old lava tiles. Boom, boom, boom. You can use that to transition from the magma rivers right down to a terrain tray or a phantasmal filter. Um, so it's yet another transition option for you. And we're back on a 4x4 base, which is great. Last thing, if you want to get really tricky and start doing some multi-level builds, we have a couple of fun things you can do. So one, and you know a bunch of you are going to do this right out of the gate, is you can do a, a waterfall or a magma fall into a magma fall, right? If you want double magma fall, because who doesn't want that? Uh, you stack, these are, these are 88 millimeters high, so if you have two elevation blocks, it gets you right up um, the exact height, so this will flow one down into the other, um, and you can do some crazy cascading nonsense. You could even like, put a turn in there, thing, have one, one cascading down into the other, going off uh, into who knows where. I had to build a huge magma pit down below. So let's say you were building on one of our DF light panels. All right, we're doing a cool build here with glowing magma rivers. And you want to go down a level. You can use this transition piece uh, to step you down to another layer below. You could also do that same trick using this piece and this piece if you wanted. You know, you could have, you could transition from glowing magma rivers down to the old lava tiles or the like. So I hope this demo was helpful to you and gave you some ideas, tips, and tricks for building with our hellscape pieces. Please subscribe and ring the bell if you want more quality content like this from Dwarven Forge. Thanks for watching, and now it's back to the anvil.